near the end of the game and getting a penalty for the 3-2. I think they deserve 3-2. Uh, then it's that's, then it's a pity they set back for the three points. But we have to to analyze the whole game a bit, and uh, I think Watford also uh, deserves a, a great respect because they are in a winning sequence already many many weeks, almost with clean sheets, and uh, a lot of respect for the way they play tactically. They have very good strikers, so uh, it was an intense game for, uh, from both sides. We conceded some uh, unlucky goals. The first one, the penalty, and the second was deflected. But I, uh, of course, I'm, I'm, I'm a little bit disappointed that I didn't get the three points through that penalty. But I think it's important that the team reacted after the one-two uh, against a very defensive and very good organized, well organized Watford. Uh, the reaction from the, from, from the team was was good. I think it's important uh, also regarding the, the, the recent past in the club. Yeah, I'm very focused on the team, but of course I hear and see the outside world as well. And I think they, last week I was here and they had fully uh, um, the right to, to express themselves as they did um, uh, about this, this past or current situation at that time. So I, I fully understood their reaction, they have the right to do so and it's up to the team to show that they, they must take the initiative to get, to get the crowd back, which, which they did in showing their ambition, especially when you won, when you won down in, in the score. And then uh, the team have to react and, and the team did. That's I think showing, showing the crowd what they are willing to do and then they show ambition. And then the crowd, this crowd from Chelsea uh, reacts uh, positively in, in the second.